Fines are growing for some Virginia businesses and 8 News reporter Nicole Danzler is in Henrico tonight where she spoke with one local store owner grappling with Virginia's new rules and massive fines. Hemp businesses are starting to see inspections and fines under the state's tougher hemp law, which took effect this summer. So far, two local stores in central Virginia had to dish out thousands of dollars for noncompliance. Sables Mill did take a, a major hit. Anna Gillum Abbasi says she had to pay astounding fines for violating Virginia's new hemp law that took effect in July. In early August, the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services did an inspection at her shop, Smokers World, on Staples Mill Road in Henrico County. They definitely scared my employees. Documents obtained by 8 News show Abasi was fined $74,000 for multiple violations. The letter says she was selling 40 edible hemp products that violated the Virginia Food and Drink Law, selling products that aren't in child-proof packaging, and the store was written up for not having the necessary permit to sell CBD products, among other violations. I end up taking all of the products off of the shelves, which is basically me losing thousands of dollars um, worth of product. The state's hemp bill now making it clear what's considered legal for hemp products as hemp products in Virginia can't have more than 0.3% THC concentration. THC is a psychoactive component in cannabis that gives users a high. The law also limits products to having no more than two milligrams of THC per package unless they have 25 times the amount of CBD per package than total THC. CBD is a compound in cannabis that doesn't cause a high. When it comes to these new Virginia laws, I'm not really sure who they're benefiting but they're definitely not benefiting the small business owner. Over in Mechanicsville, Tobacco Hut on Chamberlain Road was fined $3,000 for selling products with synthetic THC and for selling CBD products that weren't made by a manufacturer that has been inspected, among other violations. The store representative hung up the phone when we contacted their store. Smokers World in Henrico says the products they can't sell anymore made up about 40% of their revenue, but once it got into compliance, the store owner appealed the fine and ultimately paid a reduced amount of $7,500. In Henrico, Nicole Dantzler, 8 News.